a broken rib. <laughs> Bradley Wiggins rides into the record books one of the great moments in British sporting history. Bloody good show. Um, when I was 15, a careers woman came to me at the school and said, um, you know, you've got to go and vacate the school for two weeks now and do some work experience. What do you want to do? <laughs> and uh, I said, oh, I don't know, really. So they found me a placement as a chef in a hotel in London. So I went and did that for two weeks. I actually quite enjoyed it. And it would probably be the only other thing I would have pursued or I'd had the, you know, because I was so set on what I wanted to do. So I had two goals when I was a kid. Um, when I told a teacher at school I wanted to wear the yellow jersey in the Tour de France and I wanted to be Olympic champion. She told me I was mad and that I needed to grow up and start thinking about what I wanted to do in my life. I'd love to know where Mrs Kennett is now from art. Where are you, Mrs Kennett? <laughs> Paul Weller into Tomorrow on 7-inch. Sports personality was something you always switched on on a Sunday night just before Christmas and um, to add your name to that trophy to all the people that have won it beforehand and um, they, miss, they have some names on there really and, and, and also for a sport, a minority sport like cycling, you know in the last five years we had two winners to potentially be the third cyclist in five years to win our national sporting award. It says quite a lot for our sport at this moment and um, I think that that's more stand out for me. I don't see it personally as winning it personally that for me, although I'll get to take the trophy home and bring it in the pub on the Monday. It's um, more about how cycling is perceived in this country now and what that does for the sport of cycling. So, brilliant.